Okay, I innovated something new today, or well, yesterday and today. I've got a, uh, this is a clothes rack that you can put on the wall. I'm just hanging it up there with rope. I might not even install it here because I could take it with me. I got this uh, kind of hanging on the wall there, but it's meant to be used with some cement anchors, right? But it's a shelf up on top. And you've got a place here for your clothing. So in these hotel rooms where you only got about uh, 375 square feet, really about 144 square feet to 375 square feet, you often need a way to hang up your clothes because only about I don't know, maybe 20% of the rooms actually have a way to hang clothes. And then the ones that do have it don't even give you hangers. Okay, I, you often see me making a joke about that, right? But this is a, um, a method I made to, I basically seen it first time in Africa, but I'm gonna show you now up close how I made it, or had it made. And uh, so maybe if you wanna repeat this, you could. But as you can see, there's uh, this is just a square rod. It's, it's you know in the United States we have dowel rods, but they don't really have them for sale here. And you have they they make them, but it's kind of ridiculous, right? This joint is made right so that uh, if it came, these screws are at an angle, so it's much more strong in, as. The way they showed it in some of the pictures that I could have bought from a hospitality supply, they had it installed right here, but that isn't very safe. And what the problem is, you can't really install it on the wall that easy. With this, I can just have uh, many different holes. I can drill holes here and then install it with sinkers into the wall. Anchors. It's got... Uh, Three pieces of wood, and what this does is it gives a, a, a solid piece of board will warp, plus it doesn't give uh, breathing for the clothing, okay? And this is sitting on top, so basically this is not going to fall off. Uh, the most I'll probably put two screws in up at top here, and then one, two, three more. So it'd be four screws all together. This is... This is made at an angle so that it's stronger, okay? I mean, this joint here is much stronger the way it is set up there. Um, you don't actually have to have, you know, all this curly Q stuff and like that. But um, the guy had, you know, I don't know, I guess he had a, strangely, he had some already set up pieces of wood that he did that to. So this just comes on and off, right? You'd have to buy the hangers, but uh, you can often convert a room into a much better room. I often make a joke, I convert my uh, two-star rooms into five-star rooms <laughs> anywhere I go. But uh, when, you, when you're dealing with uh, rooms abroad, and I try to rent the, the cheapest room possible, then convert it to the best room. Because in the long run, that's a better, much better system. I've even went as far as to try to paint rooms in Africa. I could rent a room for $7 a month in Africa or a fully kitchen and everything for $35, right? But I would go through and paint it, install stuff, and do all sorts of stuff. The hard part there is I really don't like to buy furniture. That really is not the way to rent a room. You should always rent it with at least a bed and a table. Okay. This is Andy Graham. I made this just to show you how you can convert your rooms. A lot of the uh, foreigners are, are uh, always expecting somebody to take care of them, and that's the reason why they have to go home. Even when they're home, they don't take care of themselves, right? So I'm here and you're not, why not? It's, I'm here and you're not, why not? It's because I can innovate and adapt on the fly, and I'm very good at solving problems. That's why I'm here and you're not. <laughs> okay, but if you have, uh, there's always ideas on how to improve your room. 
I'm trying to get the guy across this, the, uh, the hallway from me. He's been here for four years and he has no place to hang his clothes. And he actually owns a wood shop. 